Hello everybody, it's Lynn. Um, long time no see again um, since I've been away. Um, I think uh, it's about a month since I did one of these floss tube videos. I think we're on floss tube 72 now, but I'll check and let you know. Um, yeah, while I've been away, I've had a birthday and had a lovely time. Um, at our caravan, uh, we had visitors come to uh, stay with us, uh, my son, and that was that was lovely. Came for the weekend, and uh, we actually went to see him in concert, um, playing with the um, Coldstream Guards uh, in Doncaster at uh, the Minster Church there, and that was lovely. That was the day after my birthday and then they came back with us and we went out on the Saturday evening we had a family meal and Sunday we went to um, a small little place near where the caravan is called mm, I always forget the name of this Oh, yeah, it's gone. Sorry, it's gone. Um, if I remember, I'll put it down below in the description where it was we went. And then we had to take them back and they caught their train and went back home to London. So we had, uh, that was lovely, was that? That's only the second time we've seen them this year. Um, so, stitching. Yeah, well, I did some. I did do some more on uh, what's it called now? This is Spirit of Christmas Mystery Sampler uh, by Lizzie K. It's an old one, is this? Uh, I've had it a long time, and that's as far as I've got. I've I've nearly finished, so it's come along really nice. I'm really pleased with it. And uh, as I say, I'm nearly finished. But then my um, other stitching, because um, we always have more than one on the go at the same time, don't we? Most of us do. Um, I was trying to finish some old ones that I'd had on the go for a long time. And that was one of them, the Lizzie Kate. Uh, but then new ones come up and we just get carried away, don't we? Um, so this one is from the Winds of Autumn uh, Blackbird Design book and it's this one. And that's finished. Finished that while I've been away. I enjoyed doing that. It was a lovely stitch. Um, not a long stitch. I think I did that in about four or five days I think I stitched that so that needs making up uh, into either the drum I'm not quite sure whether I'm gonna um, do the drum or um, do it as something else I'm not quite sure I'll have to show you it like that because the pattern is on the other side so there we go that's them together so I'm really pleased with that. Then one of my birthday pieces with my, some of my birthday money that uh, I received. Uh, cottage garden samplings, first signs of spring. This is number three, time for all seasons. Um, that's the one. And I've really enjoyed this really really enjoyed uh, this one and that's as far as I've got love the bird um, and what count did I do this on I did it on I think the stitched one on the front is done in 40 count but I did it in 
36 is it? Possibly, I'm not quite sure. No, it's 28, sorry. It was 28, that's what I did it on. And that was that piece of uh, fabric I got from Patchwork Rabbit uh, and it's a sparkless, sparkless piece is that. So I'm not far off with that. I've some more uh, snowdrops and the basket to fill in. That's that one. Then I did uh, um, not much purchasing this time, but I did buy my muslin for the uh, home sweet home that I'm going to start. So I did get some. Um, where's the end of it now? There we go. Did buy find the muslin. So I've got I did buy um I think a, a meter of that. So I won't run out, I've got plenty. Which it will come in for other other things. So that's that. The other thing is I've jumped on the bandwagon with the um thread drops uh like we're all doing at the minute, us stitching people. And while I was away, um, they came from the printers, so we had to go pick them up um, when I got back. And I decided to put on mine. That's the back. It says DMC colour. You write the colour. Um, you start date and you finish date. And then I've got my name on it because it's been done by me as this one. Um, got a bit mixed up when I was um, ordering. I thought I'd ordered a hundred and I ended up ordering two hundred and that being the case if, if I'd have known I would have had a different design on the other hundred but never mind um, I have two hundred of this particular design and it's um, my unicorn piece uh, that I stitched and it's a photograph of my stitching of touching the autumn sky. Love this piece. Um, yeah, so that is my my thread drops. If anyone is interested in uh, swapping with me, I would be happy to do so. Uh, most people are um, sending ten, five or ten at a time because of the uh, cost of the postage and. Um, it's worldwide. People are, are posting abroad. So yeah, I'm open to international as well as people in, in the UK. And um, if anyone would like to swap with me, um, just let me know and um, leave me your email address in the comment below and I'll contact you and um, we'll sort something out from that. So that's those. And while I was at it, I thought I'd be really clever and I'd have them put on some stickers. First time I've ever done anything like this. It took me ages to, to sort the thread drops out of, you know, how you do it and how you design it and go about it and everything else and what you want putting on the back. And, and then I thought, oh, yeah, I'd be really clever and I'll have some stickers made up. It's glaring a bit, sorry, because it's still in the plastic. Well, as you can see, they don't go right to the, the stickers around. And I didn't fill the sticker up. So um, it's a small picture, which I needed to enlarge it and fill the sticker. But first time for everything. And next time I do that, that's what I'll do. I'll have a go at doing it a little bit better than I did that time. I have had re I have received some uh, swaps uh, in the post while I've been away and this was my first one and this is all the way from a lady in Belgium and 
these are that lady's thread drops. This is how she's displayed them on the on a piece of card. Um, love those. I think that's a her own artwork. They look very Venetian to me. It reminds me of um, Venice. And I won't say the lady's name, but um, because I've not had permission to do that. But that came with a lovely, lovely card. So thank you very much uh, for that. If you're watching my video, you know who you are. Thank you. Uh, yours are going in the post this week. I'm posting mine off to the ones, to the ladies that I've said I'm swapping with um, this week. Then I received another one. And, oops, and this is from a lady who lives in uh, um, America. That's her thread drop, and then that's the card that came with it. So I'm loving these, and on the back, because she, she's got a a name on there. I'll just show, see if I can do it that way. She's put thread and colour because below that is where her name is. So that's that one. Can't wait to start using these. I think it's an absolutely amazing idea that that lady came up with. I uh, can't think of that lady's name either. It's an English lady and it's took off all over the world as this uh, exchange in thread drops. I will put her uh, floss tube and her name in the description below because at this minute I can't remember. I'm sorry. Now this one is uh, a lady in Canada and these are this is just, uh, that's a note to me, is that um, from this lady and that was the little note that she put in with these thread drops. Wait till you see these. Wow. I just love them. Frida Kahlo. Yeah. So... I've got uh, three lovely sets now. Um, I'm looking to swap with some more people if anyone's interested, as I've said. Um, just let me know and uh, we'll exchange details. So what else do I have to tell you? I think that's about it, just trying to catch up with some bits and pieces since we've come back home. We've only been home a day and um, there's lots to catch up with so um, I'll keep this one short so I'll love you and leave you say bye for now and I'll see, see you in my next uh, floss tube video I'll be stitching everybody bye